Introduction Born February 7, 1812 in Portsmouth, Charles Dickens lived to become a prolific 19th-century writer of fiction novels, short stories, and plays. His father worked as a pay clerk in the Navy office, with a salary hardly enough to support the family. Charles was as a consequent brought up in poverty. At one point in life, his father John Dickens, was imprisoned. This made Charles drop out of school and seek employment to support the family of eight. Charles Dickens was largely regarded as the voice of the poor. His childhood poverty life is largely believed to be the main cause of Charles's writing style. Charles usually wrote for and on behalf of the poor. The poverty he went through during his first two years old childhood were of extreme importance in shaping the novelist. His writing style and ethics in the course of work were largely influenced by fear for poverty, especially the poverty he went through during his childhood. He himself acknowledged this argument. He however remains the world's most read novelist. As a child, Charles Dickens went through many disturbing moments including having to be chased out of their rental house because of rental arrears. His father regarded himself as belonging to the lower middle class of society by right. His mother taught him most of the things including how to read as his father was not always there for him. His literature skills were however partly developed by his father who used to make him tell stories and anecdotes to his colleagues in the clerk's office. Charles Dickens' childhood life and experiences largely influenced his writings as an adult. Life Influences Charles Dickens' father, John had a collection of literature materials which mostly included books in a little room, in their house. This collection almost became Charles's own as the other members of the family were least concerned. Through this collection, Charles Dickens found his true literally role models who included, Roderick Random, Peregrine Pickle, Humphreys Clinker, and Tom Jones. Charles Dickens spent most of his childhood spare time in the British Museum reading and mastering Gurney's literature, to satisfy his thirst for distinction. Another influence during Dickens's childhood was Mary Weller. Mary was a house girl hired by Charles's father to take care of his children. Mary gave Charles Dickens bedtime stories, most of which he swore were true. These fiction stories featured characters that could make pies from their wives. When his father was imprisoned, Charles Dickens sought employment at Waring's Blacking Company, where he worked for eight months after which his father was released from jail. The eight months' experience, and the circumstances under which the work was done, also influenced his work later in life as an adult. It is said to be a short period of life that made profound effects on his life ever after. This eight-month period is featured in almost each and every of his books. The kind of suffering he went through during these eight months is referred to in almost every of his works. Charles Dickens's works and life as an adult were influenced by his personal experiences. In his books, Charles Dickens translates his painful memories into literature works. Most of the characters in his works are believed to be characterizations of his family members and close friends. For example, in the book The Old Curiosity Shop, the character Little Nell, is believed to be his sister-in-law's characterization. StudyCorgi.com has everything you need for successful studies. Writing tools, informative articles, and essay samples. Come check it out.